Uh, early morning, a dinky do, everybody. Lovely to have you with us. Two more minutes of Scotty McClue, and then we have to go. Well, I stopped listening to it when they stopped. Do you know, the DJ that came on after me absolutely hated me. Now, there's nothing to hate about Scotty McClue, and people say there's everything to love. But 80,000 people put their radios off when the Scotty McClue show finished. So what did he think going on? Hi, everyone. Uh, there we are. Thanks to Scotty. <laughs> Up the independent Royal Artillery. The British Army, you know, top army men. I salute you. Uh, yes, I was one, Sandy, isn't it interesting? And I'll tell you, the late Jack Mulroy and Ricky Fulton were two others because they told me. Jack says, Scotty, Mary and I listen to your show every day, son. It's brilliant. And see when you finish, we just put it up. And he told me that to my face. It was bigger than a knighthood, Jack Mulroy and Ricky Fulton. Childhood heroes, Francie and Joseph. Rabsy Nisbet, yes, indeed, the wonderful Gregor Fisher. Fantastic. And Elaine C. Smith as Mary Doll. Ah, oh, I did enjoy that, you know. Yes, wonderful. Um, you see, talented actors. Very talented actors, guys. There's no, this was the whole secret behind Dad's Army. There's two ways you can do comedy. You can either get somebody who you, you know, perceive as a comedian for their track record in comedy. Or you can get excellent actors to stick to a script and you'll get superb comedy. And two examples of that were Steptoe and Son by Galton and Simpson, and uh, Harry Corbett, C. Harry H., and uh, Wilfred Bramble, the father, Albert, Albert and Harold Steptoe, Steptoe and Son, and they stuck to that script, and they were funny. Dad's Army, incredibly funny. Never mind to do with the Second World War or the Home Guard or any of that. Just incredibly clever and funny because you know these very talented actors. Um, Arthur Lowe, Captain Manning, Ian Lavender, Private Pike, Bill Pertwee, the Warden, um, John Laurie, Wilson, Arthur Wilson. Um, who else did we have in? Clive Dunn, uh, you know, always late with the step. Who was he? Uh, Clive Dunn was Mr. Jones the Butcher, you know, and many, many more. Arnold Ridley as Private Godfrey, outstanding actor, great playwright, very brave man in the war, in the, in the First World War. I think Arthur was wounded. Uh, you know, and uh, that sort of thing. Step two was the best. John, absolutely. These were amazing programs. They really were. Morning, Scotty. I'm out with flea bag up the Blackfoot Hill with the transmitter. Are you getting a good signal? Professor Numpty Heed. Guys, don't forget that tonight, nine o'clock sharp, one hour of superb scintillating information, education and entertainment. Scotty McClure's four, four, Fun in. <laughs> um, right, what else have we got? Don't tell him, Pike. The answer is over. We shall be coming for you. Oh, I, I shall take down the name. What is your name? Don't tell him, Pike. Oh, um, there we are, guys. Get sharing, get loving, get watching, get following. This is Scott McClue. Saying dinky do to every single one of you. Stick out your tongue and say ta ta. Ta ta. Ta ta. And for our beautiful, beautiful TikTokers, are we ready? Tongues at the ready. Stick out your tongue and say ta ta.